Time for a reading vlog. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach Books and today we are doing the Grady Hendrix reading vlog. We just got the How to Sell a Haunted House. This was just released today. It is Tuesday and I am planning to finish this book today. Ironically enough, I started the book because we got the audiobook before the physical copy. I'm already 19 pages in and I am enjoying it so far. Obviously, I don't have a lot to go off of right now. And it's a Grady Hendrix book. I don't really know a whole lot about it. And I really don't like want to because I've enjoyed like everything he's written so far. I actually have done a Grady Hendrix um, rank video in the past. Uh, maybe we'll link that up above there or here, wherever that is going to go. And we're going to see where this one ranks. Probably going to have to redo that video. Down below, we're going to be doing a podcast episode about this once we have both read it. Daniel's going to read it, I think, sometime later this week. And then we're going to do a podcast episode for this upcoming Monday in six days next week or the week after. Don't know, but we're going to do a podcast episode about it. So I'm going to try and finish this today. Also down below, Danielle's channel. We're going to link this book because now it's out. Whoop. And uh, yeah, Bookstagram and all that other fun stuff that's down there. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, let's continue with the book. And we'll see you in the next clip. I just got the chapter 15, page 153 of How to Sell a Haunted House, and it's getting really freaky. I have got... Bailey's drinking water, so ignore her. <laughs> um, so I've got about three hours and 20 minutes left of the audiobook. I gotta say, if you have got something against dolls, this is probably not the book for you. Um... Yeah, no, this like is... creepy dolls? Uh, yeah, so the mom is basically... So if you don't know anything about this book, now that I've, like, kind of picked up on what it happens, um, Luis and Mark are brother and sister. Mark's kind of a dick, and Luis has got a family of her own, although, like, the husband kind of seems asshole-ish, too. Um, and basically what happened is their parents died in a car accident, and... They are basically, they go back home to try and, like, sell the house and deal with all the possessions. The mom was really weird with, like, art, and so she had all these weird things. She had a bunch of dolls and, like, ventriloquist dummies and puppets and all this weird crap in the house. And there's, like, two specific dolls that are just being freaky as hell. There's also this weird, like these boards up against like the attic door and like there's weird noises that keep coming from them and it's really creepy i don't know where it's going to go um they basically just got told by i believe she was a cousin um who's like a realtor and basically told them like yeah your house is haunted and uh, i'm not going to help you sell it because it's just going to ruin my reputation so originally in the will it, this was like what kind of caused the controversy within like Mark and Luis is uh, in the father's will. This is like kind of weird. In the father's will, Luis gets everything. But if he died before his wife died, then everything would follow her will. And in her will, everything went to Mark, who's the brother. So like literally there's this scene where like they're going over the wills and like Brody who's another family member so basically what's going to happen is I'm going to go over the wills and this is what's happening and so he's going over them and reads the dad's will first so Mark's all pissed off and he's like but technically your mom was alive later so everything is in her will therefore everything goes to Mark and it was, it's just like okay well that sucks so uh, that's kind of the point where I'm at right now I am really enjoying the book. Again, <sighs> these dolls, man, are just... They literally... They were trying to get the house set up for this lady to come look at it. 
they got all the other dolls except for these two and they threw a blanket over them they went outside the lady showed up and like only Luis and the realtor went inside mark was too scared to go back inside dolls were gone and they were they ended up in their display case in their parents room and like mark didn't touch them Luis didn't touch them so yeah if you got a thing against dolls i would definitely uh be warned that this book is going to be uh i don't know what the term is um anti-doll a trigger yeah it, well like a phobia of dolls there's like a yeah a, yeah if you have a phobia of dolls uh be wary of this proceed book. with caution <laughs> yeah so um otherwise very good book and i'm really enjoying it all right i'm on page 267 now of uh i just saw a haunted house i am uh pretty much just you're, you're not really gonna get that many filler clips because i honestly just can't put this damn thing down um it's a very solid s story book creepiness um i will reiterate again if you have got anything with dolls do not read this book puppets are starting to become way more like brought up there's this one specific family one called pumpkin and uh yeah it's got some weird evil entity inside of it and it is messing some things up um i mean yeah I, i'm getting to the point now i've got an hour and like 50 left in the audiobook um i mean there's not much else really to say we got the point of view with her and the brother um who now is starting to kind of come well before chapter 24 he was starting to come around as like the good like you know i forgive you this and that and all the brotherly stuff and all that stuff we learned that uh, apparently she tried to so pumpkin is like alive it's a puppet and it's like real it like literally convinced louis Lu, i should say louis um i can't even pronounce her name now i'm like so like mm convince the female person that we're following i can't think of her name i don't know why Luis, whatever um to kill mark when he was like two by basically letting him walk out onto an ice pond and letting him fall in um he was saved and mark remembered it and pumpkin is freaking me out so another thing that is basically transpiring is mark and um went up into the attic to try and confront pumpkin because they figured out that's where he, he was that's why the attic was bolted shut because pumpkin was up there and creepily enough that's like his like home i like don't want to say much more because it's like really creepy as like chapter 24 um so if you decide to read this book and you get to that part some creepy things are in the attic, and we literally are about to witness an imaginary spider dog attack um, uh, the main character we're following, and it's pretty intriguing. So I'm anxious to know where it goes. Um, but yeah, Pumpkin's pretty much like talking to Mark at this point and basically like trying to tell him like, yeah, put me on, kill her. Because we also learned that Mark had a really traumatizing experience with Pumpkin when he was in college, and basically all of his friends that he was doing acting stuff with all perished because of pumpkin and uh yeah this doll is really freaky so uh let's keep going with the book and i'll see you in the next update all right so this is gonna be the last update before we finish the book i am on page 347 i just got the chapter 33 how cute uh, i've got about 50 minutes left and i honestly am Okay, so this is, the thing I'm going to say is, now that I've gotten this far in the book, I really don't think this title works with this story. I'm just throwing it out there. I don't think that, I mean, like, I, I get it, but, like, I don't know. I, I'm getting the vibe that it shouldn't be how to sell a haunted house. It should be, like, how to deal with effed up dolls. It should be what it should be called. Okay, side note. Um... I mean, the book's really good. I'm really thoroughly enjoying this. Um, uh, so, Pupkin. I called it Pumpkin earlier. It's Pupkin, I think. Um, is back and has taken control of Poppy, which is 
Luis's daughter. So thought it was destroyed, it's back, and now they go, like, Luis, like, lives somewhere else. Then, like, Mark was like, yeah, we need to, like, you need to come back home so we can deal with this, like, all together. So they go home, or they she goes back to, like, her family's, like, hometown or whatever. Um, her aunt or her, like, somebody's, like, some weird spiritual lady, um... And they're trying to deal with this issue now. With 50 minutes left in the book, I don't know where it's going to go. I have a strange feeling that either Poppy, Mark, or Luis are going to die. I have a feeling that one of those three people are going to perish near the end of this book. Um, but there also isn't really a Grady Hendrix thing to do. He doesn't usually, like, kill off a main person near the end of a book, I feel like. But it's actually been a while since I've read a Grady Hendrix. Um, this, so far, my thoughts going into the last 50 minutes in terms of a star rating and where I think it's going to fall, um, as of right now, it's five stars, and I actually think this is probably going to be my second favorite Grady Hendrix book behind My Best Friend's Exorcism, but depending on how this ending goes, I think it could actually be better. There's potential for it. It's been a really good built-up story, and I think it's going to be a big climactic ending. If it's a letdown, whatever, it's still better than the second-ranked one, which I honestly don't even know what... Oh, uh, the va uh, Vampire Club? The, uh, book, the book club on slaying vampires? The Southern book, book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. Yeah, I think that's like my second or third favorite, and this has definitely been better than that. Um, I can't think of another one. I have one that has... We sold our souls. Oh, that was another one, too. Um, this is definitely at least number two as of right now, but with potential to be number one. So um, we're going to finish this book. We'll see you in the next hour to end this. Um, if you've stuck through this long, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, if you've read this book, let me know your thoughts. Um, but let's finish this damn thing. All right, so I just finished... How to Sell a Haunted House, Grady Hendrix, and uh, it's my favorite book by him. It beats um, My Best Friend's Exorcism. It is a really good book. It has got a wholesome ending, I will say. And honestly, if it wasn't for me reading, like literally halfway through January, I've already, I've already read my top two books of the year so far. This and Swan Song. This was a really, really solid book. I really enjoyed a lot of it. Um, I like where you are really on the impression that um, Mark is kind of an ass at the beginning and complete change of character towards the end. Um, then the the climactic battle at the end I thought was really cool. Um, it, I honestly like could see this being a pretty like eerie movie as well. So that'd be something cool to see because I know my best friend's exorcism. I heard that there's like some sort of movie thing possibly happening, but I would definitely say this would make a really solid movie. It is five stars. I'm not going to hold that back at all. It was a very good book. Really good book. I would highly recommend this. Again, if you have anything against puppets or dolls or anything like that, be weary reading this book because a lot of them. I, I don't know what else to say about it. It was really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I would give it a read if you have not done so yet. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you've read this book, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Try to keep it spoiler-free for those who have not read it. Um, again, we're going to be doing a podcast episode with this book once Danielle has read it. Um, she's got to get through this book first, though. And, um, yeah. Otherwise, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to Danielle's channel. She is on the hunt for 1K. And uh, you can get her there. Just subscribe to her channel. It's down below. Um, yeah. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.